Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to make teams in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. I will show you how you can create spawn points where you can assign a team color, and then when a player spawns into your game, they will be assigned a team. Let's get started. So you want to have Roblox Studio open. And one thing I want to point out quickly is that if you're working with the base plate uh, or the base plate 2021, you might see it as, uh, you will see on the Explorer, they have a folder for teams. Now this folder is included with this base plate, but let's say I were to close out of this file and then I want to try a different one, let's say the flat terrain, you're gonna notice that the on the Explorer side, there's no teams there. And so I'm gonna use this one so I can show you how to put that folder there first. So the first thing we wanna to add to the game is a spawn location. And to do that, what you wanna do is click on the tab for model. And then you'll see this little sign right here, it says spawn. You just wanna click that and now it added a spawn point into your game. And so you can move that around. And if you want to, you can rename it. Just click on the spawn location and let's call this one blue spawn, okay? So we've got the blue spawn ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that you have the spawn location highlighted and you can change the brick color here on the bottom side with the properties. If you have any problems with the explore the properties, go up to view and then you can click on explore and properties so you can see those. And so I'm going to change the brick color of this and let's go ahead and make it a blue color. Uh, let's do that one right there, so cyan. And then I'm gonna scroll down on the properties and you wanna get to the point where it says teams. And so I'm gonna unclick neutral and I'm gonna change the team color to the same color that I made the spawn point, so cyan. You wanna make sure that the colors match for this to work properly. So I've got my blue spawn and that is ready to go. Now what I'm gonna do is I need to add another spawn. So let's go to the model tab again. I'm gonna add another spawn point. So there it added another spawn point. I'm gonna drag that over to here. And so we've got two spawn points now and we've got the blue and then make sure that you have this selected and you can, uh, of course, you know, change that one to maybe red spawn. Make sure that you don't click the decal on the top. We want to change the spawn location itself. So we want to go down to properties again, and we're going to change this brick color to a red. Let's go with the bright red color there. And then I'm going to keep going down to where we have teams. It's near the bottom of the properties. And you're going to change that to the team color for the really red again. So make sure, or bright red. So make sure that they're the exact same color. So now I've got a blue and a red spawn point. So let's start with the blue one. So I'm gonna click that one again. And so we're over in the Explorer and we need to have a team folder. So in order to add the team folder, you're gonna click on model tab again. And right here on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see there's a service uh, option. You're gonna click that. So now it says insert service and what we need to insert is a team. So scroll to when you see the folder for team. So there's the folder and I'm gonna press insert. And then so now when I go to the uh, Explorer, I'm gonna look for the Teams folder, which is right there. So now that we have a Teams folder, what we need to do is we need to add a team to the Teams folder. So put, press the plus icon and then just look up Team and then click on that. And so now we have one team added. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this team Blue. So this is for the blue spawn point. And so now we're looking at the properties on the bottom. And so we need the team color and the team color needs to be that same blue color, so it's that cyan. So now we have the cyan color, and that will take care of the blue teams. Now we go back to the teams folder on the Explorer tab, click on it, and then add another team. And so we have frequently used there, we can just click on team again, so now we added another team. We're gonna call that team the red team. You can name the teams any uh, word that you would like, I'm just keeping it simple for this tutorial. So now we have created a red team, and uh, we have our properties on the bottom, and so we have to find that team color again. And we're gonna change that to the same red color we used before, make sure it's the exact same, so bright red. And so now uh, we have created two teams. So when I go ahead and play this game, so I'm gonna go up to home and then play, it's going to sign me most likely the first one I created, the blue, right. So now I'm in the game, Roblox Learner 3, and I've got the blue team assigned to me. So when someone spawns into your game, it's gonna auto assign them a spawn point. And so right now, uh, every time I spawn into this, it'll be blue. Uh, so just to double check that your red is working correctly, you can just go ahead and take the blue one and then de delete it. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and play it with just the red spawn point and see if it assigns me a red team. So one thing I noticed when I was playing my game is that I did not assign the uh, red spawn correctly. So let me uh, show you what I need to do. So with the red spawn, I have it highlighted and then I'm gonna go down to properties and scroll down 
and you'll see that on teams I have it as neutral and so if you have that clicked it's not going to work most likely the way you want it to work so I'm going to unclick that now when I play the game I should uh, be spawned on uh, the blue team so once you've done the steps in this tutorial, you will be able to have teams in your games and you can go ahead and change, uh, you know, the colors of the spawn points if you like, as well as the color of the teams. So you now know how to make teams in your Roblox games. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.